Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about special right triangles. Before we dive in though, let's review a little bit about what we know about triangles. Now, triangles can be classified by sides or angles. If we classify triangles by angles, we can have an acute triangle, we can have an obtuse triangle, and we can have a right triangle. And in the right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. We learned about Mr. Pythagoras last time. Now we can even go more specific into right triangles, and this is when we talk about special right triangles, specifically the 45, 45, 90, and the 30, 60, 90 triangles. Let's take the 45, 45, 90 triangle first. In a 45, 45, 90 triangle, meaning two of the angles are 45 degrees, and of course, the 90 degree triangle, we know that the legs, x, are congruent. And the hypotenuse h is root two times the length of the leg. So I'll show you how this works out. Here we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Now, let's say you know one of the legs of the triangle, like this one's five you automatically know that the other leg is also five. If you wanna know the hypotenuse, well, you just have to multiply by the square root of two. So the hypotenuse for this triangle is five times the square root of two. Let's try another one. This time our leg is seven times the square root of two. So we automatically know that the other leg is also seven times the square root of two. If we wanna know the hypotenuse, we just take one of the legs and multiply it by the square root of two. Now we have to kind of do a little bit of math here. So seven square root two times square root two gives us 14. So we know the hypotenuse is 14. What happens if we know the hypotenuse of a 45, 45, 90 triangle? Let's say it's four times the square root of two. We just have to reverse the process we did last time. So instead of multiplying by the square root of two, we're going to divide by the square root of two. So four root two divided by root two is four. And if we know that leg, we automatically know that the other leg is also four. Let's try a more complicated one. What if the hypotenuse is six? Well, we divide by square root two, same thing. But let's do a little bit of math. Six divided by the square root of two. We can't have a root on the bottom of the fraction, so we're gonna have to rationalize the denominator. We're gonna multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of two, which gives us six times the square root of two over two, which reduces to three times the square root of two. So that's that leg, and we automatically know the third leg is also three times the square root of two. Now for the 30, 60, 90 triangle. In the 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know that the hypotenuse, H, is twice the shorter leg. And we know that the longer leg is root three times the shorter leg. It's usually easiest to just dive into examples to figure out how this works. So what happens if we know the short leg of a 30, 60, 90 triangle? Well, in 30, 60, 90s, it's all about the short leg. So let's say it's six. Okay, to find the hypotenuse, we multiply by two. Six times two is 12. To find the long leg, we multiply by root three. So six times root three. Let's try another one of those. Let's say we know the short leg is three times the square root of two. To find the hypotenuse, we multiply by two, so we get six times the square root of two. To find the long leg, multiply by the square root of three, so we get three times the square root of six. Now, what happens if we know the long leg? Remember, it's all about the short leg, so we have to get to the short leg. So if we know the long leg is 10 times the square root of three, we're going to divide, reverse the process, divide by the square root of three, and we get 10. Now that we know the short leg, we can get to the hypotenuse. Multiply by two, and so we know the hypotenuse is 20. We'll try another one. We know the long leg is 10, 
So we need to get to the short leg, so that's 10 divided by root 3. Again, you can't have a root in the uh, denominator, so we're going to have to rationalize the denominator. So we get 10 root 3 over 3 is the short leg. And then from there, we can double that to get the hypotenuse, 20 root 3 over 3. Now what happens if we know the hypotenuse? Again, always just get to the short leg. So if we know the hypotenuse is 50, we'll reverse the process and divide by 2. So we get 25. From the short leg, we can multiply by the square root of 3 to get the long leg. 25 times the square root of 3. Doing another one, let's say the hypotenuse is 2 times the square root of 6. Okay, well, we just divide by 2 to get to the short leg. So we know the short leg is the square root of 6. To get to the long leg, multiply by the square root of 3. So that's the square root of 18. But you can't have a perfect square hiding under there, and 9 is hiding under there. So we're going to take the 9 out, and we get 3 times the square root of 2. So those are special triangles, the 45, 45, 90 triangle and the 30, 60, 90 triangle. And it's just a matter of knowing the relationship so you can go from one side to the hypotenuse to the other side. There's so much you can know. Thanks for being here.